Okay, so on a lot of these police cars, what ends up happening is that uh, when they go into service, they drill holes in the roof to run antennas, lights, wires, stuff like that. Um, and then when they take them out of service and they remove all that equipment, they will fill them up with plugs and silicone, which look pretty terrible, but they seem to do a pretty good job most of the time for uh, keeping water out. Um, I've tried to plug these before with different vehicles that I've owned over the years and just never seems to work very well. So the best option I've come up with is to cover them. So this cover cap is designed to have a cavity that will cover the mounds of silicone and the plugs that they put on here. Um, if they made a really messy job or there's excess, you may need to trim it around, but this is a good example of a situation where you don't need to trim. Um, and so to determine if this is the right size, I'm going to pull out my calipers, use a tape measure, and think, okay, well for sure I need to get it to clear 35 millimeters, but ideally I want it to cover all of this, which is about 55. So, and that's just enough. So it'd probably be a good idea to, to clean this up a little bit around the edge, but at least we know that the real mound is gonna fit in there quite nicely. Um, and I can tell right now that the height is good enough too. So it, it covers it pretty good, but I do want to trim down a little bit of this, um, a little bit of this silicone just so it has a good mating surface. Um, a plastic scraper or a razor, plastic razor blade would probably be better um, to not risk scraping the paint. But if you're careful, you could just use a regular blade. That's good enough. That should cover just fine. So I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol or you could just use any kind of degreaser and clean the area. That's a little dirty so I want to make sure the area is pretty clean. Now if you have any exposed metal underneath here you're going to want to put some primer or something on it um, to prevent it from rusting. Um, so on the underside we have this very high bond double-sided tape by 3M. It says BHB on it. Um, that's the stuff you want to use if you need replacement tape. So what we're going to do is remove this film, which can be a little bit of a trick. Like that. And then we're going to line it up relatively straight. Something like that. And just push down for a few seconds. Now this is designed to be water resistant, but because of the gap in the back, there's always a chance a little bit of water might seep through. So the solution for that is to grab some of this black adhesive, you know, RTV silicone. Uh, this is designed for external use um, and automotive use. And we're just gonna run a very slight bead. I got black so it matches. And we're just gonna do a very small bead. A little bit goes a long way and you don't want it smeared all over the place. You could just leave it like this, but this ensures that you don't get moisture on the inside. Now the caps themselves, the caps themselves are watertight. Um, I've tested this by filling up this bowl with water and letting it sit over a paper towel overnight and nothing seeps through. Now, also in shipping, it is possible that some of this tape starts to kind of come undone. Um, if that's the case, you can just kind of rework it to move around these angles. It just doesn't like to conform to these angles until it's actually applied. Once it's applied, you shouldn't have any issues. But that's all it is. So you can apply these to any holes um, that you may have uh, to plug them up, and this is not vehicle specific. Um, in the coming weeks, I'll be releasing different sizes and shapes of these, um, but for now, I think this is the cleanest one. Um, kind of has the aerodynamic teardrop look to it. Um, and I got these, the inspiration for these, from airplane antennas, which look very similar that you'll see on the undersides and on the tops of aircraft, uh, except for usually they're white. Um, but they also use caulking around the base of them on airplanes as well. Now, let's try one that's a little bit messier uh, to fix. Now this one is a bit bigger and 
you can see where the you can see the where the foot of the antenna was, but just by pushing, the actual hole is only right here. And so I estimate that it's only about 40 millimeters, which will fit in there just fine. But I obviously can't just put this on right here. That doesn't do any good. So we're gonna take the razor blade and just lightly scuff it. Now, if you do gouge any paint with this, um, you're probably gonna want to, especially if you get down to the metal, you're probably gonna want to use a, a primer just to cover it so you don't have rust. Uh, and the goal here is not to remove all the silicone and it's not to break the seal because if you break that seal of the silicone that they made there, you're gonna have somewhere that moisture can get through. So that's not our goal here. We wanna move just enough material. I'm gonna score it kind of where I wanna remove it. Here's the finished product. Here it is with the black silicone applied and then just use alcohol and a paper towel to wipe away the excess. Here's the second one after cleaning off most of the residue um, from the original silicone. I can still remove some uh, later. That's kind of a, a much bigger improvement than what it looked like before.